What's up, Chuck P? So many top connections today with episode four, I think, of Tub's Lightning Yellow Let's Play. So let's dive right into it. Last time we uh, finished our trek through Viridian Forest, and now we are on the way. It is actually afternoonish time. Very nice. We're gonna switch out of this. We are on our way to wow, heal up our Pokemon. That's for sure. Wow, I don't know that I have a safe switch in right now. But we are on our way to Pewter City to fight Brock. So, let's get as much damage on this thing as we can. Oh, which is better than nothing. Sand attacks all day long. Accuracy is going down. And we're going to miss there. So... I really wish Pidgey would just knock us out, so we could go to a different Pokemon. Gonna hit the scratch there, not gonna be enough. And Pidgey's gonna continue to sand attack. And it's beautiful day outside, so the dogs are barking. She's gonna drive my dog crazy. Fun stuff. So Pidgey's finally gonna take out Latifa. And we are going to bring out Where is... I think NYC should be able to clean this up. With a scratch. Uh, as long as we outspeed, that should be... Able... That didn't finish it. Wow. But, luckily, NYC is just going to hold on and finish off the Pidgey. And we're going to run up to Pewter City and heal up our lawns. So let's head on up. And we've made it to Pewter City. So let's figure out where they put the, uh, what's this guy doing? Uh, no, what are you doing? Spraying the pals. That's pesticide, buddy. You don't want to do that. So we can't go that way yet. There's the Pokemon, and there's Pokemon Center. Okay. So let's heal up our Pokemon. And then we will move on. Head on up and see if we are anywhere close to the level of Brock's minions. And keep on rolling. I think Brock's minions start out at like level 10. So let's, um... Let's move Hardy to the back of the party and bring NYC to the front. And let's talk to the professor's aide. Maybe we'll get something in this. Nope. Professor still has aides. No events available. Let's see if this lady has anything to tell us shit. Oh, apparently that's available now. I thought we'll be doing any of that. So let's explore the city for a little bit. There aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here. Yeah, I know. You have Brock. What do you expect? A Pokemon trainer that can't see doesn't look very good. I say grow, but moves must be taught by trainers. You must be talking about TMs. Okay, nothing useful there. And we're gonna move on to there was no house here. But and we can't go this way. Rock is looking to challenge us. Fun fun. They're all like bug catchers, but Peter's is totally into okay. See if there's anything new and available for us here at the Pokemart. And it doesn't look like it. Um, escape ropes, which I don't think we can buy before, but we don't really need. Maybe we should. Wow, we didn't get much money. Uh, we're not going to buy anything. Four should get us through Brock's gym. Considering there's one trainer. So, Pokemon Center. We're going to have to go up and around the block to get to Brock. And this must be... No, this isn't it. Okay, we a female here. And then this is them explaining to us that the traded Pokemon doesn't listen as well as caught Pokemon. What's this dude doing here? Talking to us about Clefairy. So let's run around to the other side. Um... 
I don't remember that path being there. But there should also be the fossil house, which is probably for the museum to heal our fossils. A child's oh that's right, we're only ten. Let's take a quick look around. I don't think there's really anything for us here. Is this the guy that would heal up our Pokemon? Do you know what Amber is? Yes. There's a lab some oh. I think that this chunk of Amber contains Pokemon DNA. It would be great if Pokemon could be resurrected from it. But my colleague just know we still have it. Oh, sweet. So we're gonna get the old Amber, which will, once revived, become the Aerodactyl, which, true facts, is my favorite of the fossil Pokemon. So fun fun. Um, yep, yeah, that was the only thing we had in here. Well worth the $50 admission fee. And, can we get around this? No, I don't think we can. No, so we have, apparently we can walk on top of those bushes though. Yeah, not much we can do here. I don't know where the... I think we're thinking of a different game that has an entrance in the back. I don't know. So let's come up here and see what they've got going in this gym. And maybe collect our first gym badge by the end of this. Oh, he doesn't tell us very much. Just a hello. So we're going to uh, run into the first of Brock's minions. Who I think just has a Geodude. Oh, junior trainer Liam has more than one Pokemon. Uh, probably a pair of Geodudes. This is not going to be good for NYC, especially if they have self-destruct at this level. That did less than half. That is unfortunate. So you're going to rock polish up. Uh, probably not speed us at this point. I'm going to continue to rock polish, but really isn't going to matter because our low kicks are going to take this thing down with one more turn. So he's going to go tackle there, and that does a little less than a uh, third. Uh, it's going to get NYC. Wow, almost all the way up to level 10. He's going to bring his sand true. I don't remember them having sand true in here. But we do not have anything that really wants to take on sand true, unfortunately. But we are going to go into uh, Aaron the Pidgeot Toe. And Aaron is going to just gust the crap out of this thing because special attack. So hopefully this doesn't have a rock attack, like Rock Tomb. Let's got Swift, which isn't going to do much to us because it should be based off of a special attack in this game. So not bad. It looks like three hits are going to be enough to take this thing out. We will run back to Pokemon Center. It didn't. It's got Rollout. Oh, that would have been bad. And we'll just finish this off with another gust. And we will move on. And challenge Brock. And that pushed Aaron up over the hop, which is nice. And we defeat Junior Trainer Liam. And he tells us about the difference between uh, distance and time. So like I said, we're going to run back to the Pokemon Center and hopefully go back and just... Uh, put a hurting on Brock. And after that, depending on how long that takes us to actually do, we will move on and take on the next route on the way to Mount Moon. And maybe by the end of the episode we'll get to Mount Moon. And we will catch a new Pokemon. At some point we have to start getting the other starters. Because the point of Pokemon Yellow was to be able to get Pikachu as your original starter and then all the other starters from in-game events. But I don't know when those happen. So, we're going to walk up to Brock. We are going to save ahead of time because smartness. And I think we are probably tragically underleveled considering um, our best Pokemon to take him on is uh, NYC. So, Brock believes in rock hard defense and information. That's my Pokemon or all the rock type. Yep, let's go. We're not scarred. So, Brock's gonna lead out with that Geodude, and he's gonna finish up 
with his onyx. So let's see. This tackle is probably going to hurt. That did over half. And that is really bad. So let's hope he rock polishes or something here. He's going to defense curl. So this is probably not going to finish him off. Oh, definitely not. That sucks. He's going to tackle us again. And that is going to be the end of NYC. So, not looking like a fantastic start for us here. So let's go into Aaron and just finish this thing up. I think a gust should be enough. Oh, critical hit. Fantastic. So that is going to take down Geodude. And that might gets Aaron another level. And some. And he's going to send an Onyx. And it'd be nice if we had a revive. Because I think Low Kick's going to do a lot more to Onyx who's heavier. So let's... What can we bring in that's going to... This has Growl. So we'll at least lower his attack. So give us a little bit more of a chance, because I think we're probably going to get Rock Tombed at some point in this. So let's... There's the Rock Tomb. And that is no good. So... What can Patrick do? Anything for us? We made the mistake of letting our wind condition fall. So let's go for a play nice. Still outspeeds, wow. And it's going to lower our speed there. So we're going to... Did Play Nice do anything? I don't think it did. So we're going to go for the quick attack. That's not very effective. It's going to tackle us and that's going to take us out. Or not. And we get the paralysis, which is nice. So maybe if we're lucky, we can just uh, get him to miss us a bunch of times. Well, I didn't think this was going to be easy, Jim, and it turns out it's not. Let's bring out Pidgeotto here. And we went for Sand Attack. And he's still going to hit the Rock, too. And that does way too much. And it's going to lower our speed. That really isn't going to matter, so let's reach into our bag, use a potion, which we should have done before. And let's see if we can... He's going to have potions for his two, which is going to be terrible. It's going to, even at the lower accuracy, going to continue to hit these rock tombs, which have less than perfect accuracy already. <sighs> so we can, oh, of course. Oh, of course. Well, that's the end of the team. Because neither of these guys are going to stand up to a rock tomb. So, we are faster because he's paralyzed, which is fun. Uh, he's not going to miss any of his attacks. And that's just... bad. So let's... Uh, let our last Pokemon go down. And we'll see what we can do. Yeah, didn't miss a single attack. After two... Uh, well, luckily we didn't lose much. And... Okay, so... Our Pokemon are restored. Let's go back and try our luck... A second time. And play a little bit smarter this time. With... Our primate, or mankey. I don't think it's worth losing the experience we got from the Dio dude to uh, reset. So let's just try again. So how comes you, dude? Maybe we will luck out. Free focus energy and manage to get a crit. It's going to defense curl, but the focus energy is going to negate that. 
that could have been a really good first turn for us. So we're gonna low kick. That's a crit. Nice. So we're gonna defense curl again. If we come back to back crit, that will be a really good start for us. So we get another low kick off that definitely didn't crit that turn. So he's gonna tackle us. That did less than half this time. Let's go for another low kick. It didn't crit again. So he's gonna tackle us again. We survived this time. I don't understand why that was different than the first time. But maybe the roll is a little bit differently. We are gonna get level 10, which is nice. And we are gonna have to fodder off a Pokemon right here in order to heal up. Well, let's stay in, potion up, and see what he's gonna do on his first turn. We might be able to take two rock tombs. And I really don't want to lose. He's going to tackle. Let's do one more potion. Before. That'll take us all the way back to full. And let's see what he's going to do turn two. He's going to tackle again. And that didn't do nearly enough. He's, he's faster than us. Wow. Okay, so we're going to get the low kick off. That did half. So let's throw out our last potion and see if we can take this this time with NYC. So he's going to rock to him. That did even less because we resist. Our speed's going to fall, but that doesn't matter because we were slower anyways. If this low kick finishes, I'll be so happy. Low kick. Did it take it down? Yes! Okay, so we got our first badge. Fantastic. So, uh, NYC is going to be level 11. Single-handedly clearing out Brock's gym, which we kind of figured it would have to. So now all Pokemon... We took us for granted. Uh, proof our victory. Here's a border badge. So, that's the official badge of the Pokemon League. And... Our Pokemon become more powerful. I never understood that mechanic in this generation. Uh, we can learn Flash now as well. So he's going to give us Bye, which is just pathetic. So we will not be using that. Maybe we'll sell it. And, um, yeah, okay. That's not important because Bye is terrible. So let's head on back to the Pokemon Center. And heal up. NYC, and then we will move on, since it's only been about 20 minutes into the episode, and we will go ahead and start our journey towards Mount Moon. Yes, we'd like to rest our Pokemon. Uh, maybe we'll even get a Hardy all the way up to a Butterfree, and that would be fantastic. So there's a bunch of trainers coming up on this next route. But before we do that, we definitely want to stop, and grab a few potions, grab a few more Pokeballs, and see what we can do. So we definitely got a lot of money from Brock, which was nice. So one is 300. Let's if we pick up. Let's pick up three for now. Yep. And let's. How many Pokeballs do we have left? We have four. And we'll just buy those. And that will be a good time. So let's let's see how much we can sell this TM we just got for. Oh, apparently we can't sell TMs in this generation for this format. Which is unfortunate because that's something we'll never use. That's probably like a key item thing where you can't sell your key items. So we bought supplies and now we are going to get did we come in this house? I think we did. That goofy guy standing beside it. Yep. Now that guy is gone from the route, so we can go on to Route 3. We'll come down here and. What is all this stuff? I don't remember any of this being like this in first gen. And we can't get. Oh no, we can't get over there. Is there something in our way? Oh, just must not be able to get there. Nothing on that rock. Nothing on that rock. Weird. 
can we, we just can't get that way, can we, just, nope, nope, that root is blocked off for some reason, so we'll come back up here and, uh, start some battles, and maybe we can clear out this root before we move on any farther. So, last Jessica is going to have a Pidgey, and we've got NYC at level 11, we're going to definitely a hard switch out of there, and bring Patrick back out, and we need to move Hardy back to the front of the party, and get him some experience so he can become a Butterfree and become useful. So that is going to take out the those Pidgey. NYC and Patrick both going to pick up some experience from that. Patrick going to get to level 11. And she has another Pidgey. We're just going to send Hardy out. Maybe get him up to level 10, depending on how much experience he needs. And then I brought a Butterfree. Uh, not likely. So I think we'll probably need one or two more battles after this. Or one or two more opponents before we can get Pidgey or, yeah, not Pidgey, Metapod all the way up to the level we need it to be. So we take down the first Pidgey, and both posts are going to get some experience, and we are going to move Hardy to the front of the party, and move NYC to the back, maybe. There we go. And here comes a bug catcher. I met you medicine Brigham Forest. Are your Pokemon any better than they were in Brigham Forest? Bug catcher Michael. I don't remember a bug catcher Michael. Okay. So we could probably stay in and just tackle the crap out of this thing because our defense is so high. Uh, maybe not. Let's go ahead and set up a Harden on this. So we're taking a little bit less damage. And I'll just continue to tackle. Uh, apparently, String Shot is not one of this thing's moves. We're just going to continue to tackle us and force us to switch out and make me sad. Come on, go for String Shot. Okay, and that making me a little bit nervous that we are getting on the edge. Now, what, if he had used String Shot one time, one time, that would not have been a problem. So we're going to have to bring out Pidgeotto to clean up this Caterpie, which is a sad fact. And just clean up with Gust. Now the Caterpie is going to go down. Metapod is going to get some wonderful experience, go to level 10, and hopefully evolve for us. Uh, Blood Catcher's gonna send out Weedle, and we're just gonna stay in, because we run back to the Pokemon Center after this encounter anyways. So, let's go ahead and just gust and kill this thing. And, oh, critical hit, nice. Where was that in Brock's gym when we needed it? And that'll be done. Aaron's gonna get 100 experience on that. And look at it, it has another Pokemon. So Aaron's gonna get all this experience from this pitiful bug catcher, just destroying their faces with gust. And hopefully we'll see an evolution here in a minute. Uh, Aaron's gonna get to level 13, which is fantastic, and we're in quick attack, which uh, boosted by stab, which is always nice. And we're gonna pick up a little bit of pocket change. And Hardy is going to evolve. Fantastic. So we are going to end up with our first fully evolved Pokemon. And it is the same first fully evolved Pokemon that I had in the first playthrough of my blue game when I was a kid. So fantastic. We end up with Butterfree. And you learn Confusion. That is such a good move to have right now in the game. So Hardy, we are going to uh, move her. No, 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 that was not what I wanted. We are going to move around your moves to make it more. Maybe we are to move around. Naive nature. What was that? 
special defense down speed up. I'm not terrible. Got compound eyes, which is fantastic. Uh, we're going to move confusion to the front and tackle right behind it. The rest of the moves will probably be replaced with sleep powder and whatever else is learned. Maybe stun spore. Because those are actually both really good in game useful moves. Especially with the combination of compound eyes making them more accurate. So that's good, especially when catching Pokemon. So we're gonna heal up our Pokemon here and we're gonna get Butterfree leveled up with the rest of the uh, leaders of the party as we slowly move forward. And we are seem to have a core four Pokemon. So let's head back to that route. And mop up some more of these trainers. As long as I think there was one down here. But is isn't. Is there anything on this rock? Nope. Okay. So here's what looks to be a comfy shorts wearing youngster Joey. Oh, youngster Nick is a comfy shorts person. He's got Radita. Which probably won't. Well, it does have that stab quick attack. It's going to set up a focus energy, which is never fun when you're playing against. So Confusion didn't really do that much. And there's a quick attack that didn't do as much as I thought it would. That's gonna bite us. Wow. Wow. And he's gonna flinch us. We're gonna have to switch out here because after that focus energy, a crit on either of those two moves would have been enough to take us out. Oh, this stupid Radita. So it's gonna bite us again. I'm really surprised they aren't pulling out any crits after that focus energy. Which, I mean, is beneficial to us. Because it's one less trip we have to make to the Pokemon Center. So Yoops Nick's going to send out Ekans, and now we're going to bring Hardy back out. Because that confusion is going to come in clutch right now. Especially with these po poison-type Pokemon being all over the field. Um, it's going to get the Intimidate. Not going to matter because of confusion. That's going to String Shot us. It was faster than us at this level, and we have a speed-boosting nature. Now wait a second, what the heck just happened? I used the wrong bloody move, that's what happened. So he wasn't faster than us. Confusion would have been a two-hit KO. <sighs> Fantastic. Fantastic. So we're just going to go out and get Pikachu, and Pikachu's going to finish this thing off with Thunderbolt, or uh, Thundershock. And that's my only complaint about this game so far. It's really hard to tell what moves you're picking because they don't highlight very well. So we defeat the youngster Nick. Um, good to know. Little known information there. So we're going to run back to the Pokemon Center again and heal up our Pokemon. So let me know. No one has requested that their name be a Pokemon yet. So if you're still interested in that, be sure and let me know down below what you would like to be named. So today's question of the day is going to be if I could pick up one Pokemon in this gen of the original 151 Pokemon, which of those is your favorite and would like to see featured in this playthrough? Uh, please don't let it include one of the starters because obviously we should pick those up through in-game experiences. But, uh, non-starter Pokemon from Gen 1, which is your favorite? And if I had to pick one, I am going to say it would have to be... Oh, it's a tough one. I'm going to say Lapras. It was really one of my first favorite Pokemon to play through with. And, so we're going to say Lapras. Especially when you were just kind of handed one in the game. I was like, what? And that was so good. I'm going to predict the switch and pursue us. Pro plays. Wow. So Spear is faster than us. We're going to hit with Thundershock, which will take it out at this range. So Spear goes down. Hardy and Patrick each going to pick up some nice experience off of that. Patrick's actually going to pop a level on that one. And we defeat Youngster Jason. So this guy is another fan of shorts as well. 
So that is the 30 minute mark. So we are going to, can we not get any farther? Are, are we serious? Or do we have to, oh, okay. I was gonna say, are we really blocked off here? So that was a 30 minute mark. We are going to run back to the Pokemon Center, save at the Pokemon Center with a uh, full health crew, and we will start the next episode of Tup's Lightning Yellow LP en route after we go back and save. So alright guys, don't forget the question of the day, which is what is your favorite Gen 1 Pokemon that is non-starter? And let me know in the comments down below. This has been Old Man Tup, we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. <laughs>